You know, George Washington as a general, a president. But what if I told you he was also a hemp farmer? And he took it very seriously. In 1765, Washington planted his first hemp crop at his Muddy Hole farm. At first, it was just a trial, but he was curious. Then came the strange part. Washington started separating male and female hemp plants. Why? That's something only people growing flowers usually do. By 1766, he was all in planting hemp on multiple farms, not just one. He even called it a more profitable alternative to tobacco. In 1793, a Scottish farmer sent him special hemp seeds from Europe. Washington called them worth preserving, like a hemp collector. In 1794, Washington received exotic seeds labeled India hemp. After inspecting the plants, he wrote, these are better than the common kind. Over five farms across decades, Washington wasn't just growing hemp. He was studying it, improving it, and sharing it. In colonial America, hemp wasn't just a crop, it was a way of life. Families worked the fields together, harvesting fiber for rope, sails, and cloth. With George Washington's encouragement and new hemp varieties from overseas, hemp became one of the nation's most valuable plants. Washington, founding father, first president, maybe America's first hemp enthusiast. History is full of surprises. Thanks for joining us on this journey into America's hemp history. If you enjoyed this episode of Canna Insights, be sure to like, share, and follow for more stories where cannabis meets culture, science, and legacy.